What's poppin' everyone? It's your boy Joe Ratchet. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Drag Race UK Christmas looks. I showed up in a little Christmas look myself. You know me. But you know the reveal? Bam, bitch. It's lit. It's lit out here. Lit AF. Okay, I don't want to look like a hot mess, but it's already too late. It's a little better, a little better. I might as well just take it off. While you guys are here, please subscribe down below. Let's go ahead and get started. First queen we are looking at is Ahura. So honestly, this is a fierce look. Um, I am loving the cellophane wrapped gift look. The hair is dope as well, giving me that very like uh, Abraham Lincoln, old white colonizer types. And nails are fierce, everything. I love the big bow and the cellophane. Um, you know, she's a cute wrapped up look. I give this a toot. Next is Astina, Astina Mandala. This is cute. I wish she was wearing a little bit more, but I know that this is kind of like her style. Like she gives that like skin and body. Um, cute look, very simple, but maybe if she had like deer ears or something or like different type of hair, um, it would tie in with the fur and tie in with her like dot makeup. Um, I think that would have probably elevated the look a little bit more, but I know that she's on brand and everything, showing off skin, showing off legs, arms. Give this a two as well. Next is Bimini Baum Baulash, Miss BBB. This is a great look. I love this. Um, definitely stands out uh, amongst all of probably like the reds and greens that are coming up from the Christmas looks. This is hot. I'm loving the the fish nets, um, the white fish nets as the gloves on the arms and the legs. She looks hot. I'm I really like this look. And I don't know how she's doing that like she's like curving the end of her train or like dress, but I give this a two. Next is Cherry Valentine. This is brava, bruh. Look at, she is giving us dark Christmas, like um, very edgy. Yeah, Cherry Valentine is it. Like I'm loving the horns on the top of the head piece and body snatched and like those boots with the fur, cute. like. I love that she's staying on brand even though she's giving us a Christmas look. That little hook with a little bag of presents, bag of coal probably, is really cute as well. I, I'm probably gonna give this a two, like on, honestly almost shoot at this point. It's really good. And she's standing out for sure as well. Like it's not just the plain basic um, red and green. Next is Ellie Diamond. Um, this is a nice little traditional Mrs. Claus kind of look. Nothing really bad to say about it. She looks really good. Um, I'm definitely feeling this look because you know, me too, me too sis. I'm gonna give this one a two. Next we have Jeannie Lemon. I will say that I like this look better than her promo look, and she definitely is staying on brand with wearing her yellow, but I'm gonna give this a two, soft two. Not my kind of drag, or not the kind of drag that I like get inspired from, but I do think that this is a good, safe toot. Um, thank you for still wearing little, little cute little yellow hair on the top. But I'm gonna give this a soft two. Soft two. Next is Joe Black, giving us tall Christmas tree vibes with her white fur and black gloves. I, I like it. Um, basic, yeah, but nothing bad about it. Um, the hair with that little wave is gorgeous as well. Yeah, nothing to say bad about it. I think maybe if like her gloves were maybe white or like that fur was black. I don't know. Um, but other than that, give this a two. Next is Lauren Cheney. 
this is a very like fun look i'd say like you know giving us that holiday christmas sweater vibes except made into like a full length gown i'm definitely feeling the pattern and her necklace uh the lights you know that's like a typical go-to for like a party goer she looks very ready for the christmas party but showed up in a gown type of gig um yeah she looks great honestly i'd give this a two as well Ooh, we have sister sister um i like how she's staying on brand not sure if it's like her brand or anything but with the blue wig same thing to her promo look like i think that's why it's blue but other than that i'm feeling the big cage dress um you know that i believe it's a snakeskin pattern um with the the lace it, it's definitely a cute look and um she tied it in to being kind of christmasy with that white fur on top um i give this a two as well and oh my god we have taste right here damn she she commands this look like she is honestly this is a, a she ate she she definitely ate on this one like even though it is super basic and like people might read her for being like is this even really christmas what she has is the confidence to sell it although it's just some basic plain look like she is definitely killing it I am loving the earrings as well, giving us like little icicle look. And yeah, she, her confidence is what commands the look and what sells it. And that's why I'm gonna give this a two. Love it, love it. Giving us model, fashion, runway. I love, I love taste. Next is Tia Coffee. Mm, I think it's cute. Um, compared to the other looks, I feel like it's a bit on like the lower budget. It's giving us like more wintry vibes rather than Christmas. Um, I feel like also the pinks are a bit off um, with her accessories for the gloves and then her hair. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't think that it is executed as well as it could be. I think she could have lost the bag and lost the gloves. Loving the hair and her cute earrings that say Tia are cute as well. I would probably say maybe change the shoes to a pink tone uh, to match the hair, just so it's like we tie in all the pinks somehow, something to push it up on top and make this a exceptional too. Right now it's just like yeah, a soft too, close to a boot. It's like a very soft too. And last we have Veronica Green. I love this. Very simple, cute Mrs. Claus look, giving us like mean girls type of vibe. Looks younger here, which I which I appreciate because she looked kind of older before. And I like how she's wearing her green gloves. Gotta show off that Veronica green swag. And the boots are looking cute as well. Overall, I think my favorite look was Taste. She honestly, she ate um, other than taste, just commanding her with her confidence, I really loved Cherry Valentine's look. Hers is like a different take on Christmas and like very edgy, very bold. Like I'm living for it. Overall, I think all of these looks were lit AF. All right, everyone. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't hesitate to subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up. And I will be putting out other Drag Race content for the UK season and the US edition. So stay tuned for that i'll see you guys in the next video bye no such thing as a life that's better than your love your thing is the life that's better than your no such thing no such thing